Well, David, thanks so much again for being with me and talking about the Big Break Indian Wells fifth episode, quite the twist. I was quite surprised. You were pretty quiet at breakfast when they announced this. What was going through your head? And tell us a little bit about what you thought about it. Um, I that w- that's where me watching the last 14 seasons came into play. Um, because to be perfectly honest with you, I just really didn't care. <laughs> um, it sucked that somebody was coming back, but I'd be lying to you if I said that I didn't expect that to happen. Um, you know, I've watched 14 seasons, and about 10 of them, they've had a playback challenge of some sort. And, uh, you know, Petey's not necessarily back in the house um, yet. Uh, you still have to kind of go through us here. But um, I just, I don't know, I was, I had this, like, real, during my time there, I was really calm, and I felt uh, that my golf team was at a good spot. Um, and I mean, between my girlfriend and my coach are both very uh, laid back people, and I'm a little bit more high strung. And both of their attitudes are kind of like, uh, you know, if, if if you can't control it, then why get upset about it? You know, mm-hmm. I mean, if we complain, the more and more we complain, the more, it's not like golf channel is going to change their mind. You know, mm-hmm. so I uh, I just I do I figured it was going to happen, and I figured. PD would be the one who would beat everybody uh, because he's he's the, the better player. Um, so I just, yeah, I I, uh, I remember actually feeling, I remember actually thinking to myself, wow, why why am I not bothered by this? But uh, I just really didn't care. <laughs> <laughs> well, Will certainly cared. I mean, I it was over the top. Yeah. You know? Not just the breakfast, but you know, throughout the entire show, they kept popping into his interviews and stuff, and his emotions just seem to be out of control over this and I'm wondering what was that about I just think that uh, well to be honest his, his uh, before he left you know his day there's a little blurb about the three minute little commercial on us and all the competition and um, I think the only thing is that said to him was you know you know son I, I got confidence in you but you gotta watch out for that PD guy he looks like a really good player so I think that might have stuck with him a little bit um, but I uh, you know, he was, he's in the, in the top of the money list, and, uh, you know, it, it's just one of those things that you can't control, and I'm just, you know, I'm, as we'll see how this plays out here, but uh, he was definitely the most bothered by it. Um, I think a lot of us were kind of like, well, you know, obviously we don't want somebody back, but there's nothing, you know, there's nothing we can do. If we talk, The more we talk about it, it's not going to do anything, you know? Yeah. So, uh, but I, I know Will t- took it pretty hard, but... You know, in his defense, PD is um, the best player, you know. Mm-hmm. And I, a lot of people are saying, you know, once you're off the show, you're off the show. And uh, and I agree, but if I was one of the eliminated contestants, I would disagree. <laughs> you know, I want my chance to come back, and for PD, he's only on for one show. So um, it, it'll definitely, you know, if he does if he does make it through the seven of us um, at the beginning of the next show, it'll definitely put a, a big a twist and change the game a little bit for sure. Yeah, for sure. Well, you got to watch the um, challenges that these guys had to go through in order to, you know, pick one that would go up against the rest of you guys. Uh, watching it last night on TV, watching, you know, Russell take some chances, watching Robert crash and burn, watching Justin's uh, performance. What was going through your head? How, how, just describe what you were thinking as you're watching that. Well, it's for, for the first time, you know, I got back into the viewer instead of kind of having an inside look, you know, mm-hmm. and um, and it was it's it's so it's so unfortunate to see to see Robert uh, be like him playing the way he he was. Um, I um, I I just about had an, uh, you know enough of Justin's um, comments. <laughs> you know, I'm a pretty positive person. I like to give people the benefit of the doubt, but. Last night I was watching, and I'd even, I turned to my girlfriend and I just kind of looked at her and was like, again, really? Like, mm-hmm. um, but it, it, I was really happy for Russell that he played he played well. Um, I know he kind of dunked it on the last hole, but that was an easy shot, and he kind of had to go for it. So um, it, it was definitely interesting to see how everything kind of came together because we didn't, we didn't get his ball that day until later that day. You know, we didn't really hit any balls that day. So um, it, it was definitely interesting watching. I got back into the 
really they hit, the shot really wasn't that great and you know I have to remind myself that I'm there and I've hit plenty of bad shots already and I'm sure I'll hit more and it's, it's definitely nerve wracking and tough but uh, Petey definitely stepped up and played very very good uh, to, to go to the next leg of the playback challenge what did you think of giving Justin the opportunity to hit that putt? Um, there was a lot of comment on the show about people being surprised that he did that. What did you think? Um, I probably would have, in any other situation, take you know, take away if you're Saturday on a putting green, it's the same sort of challenge with the buddy. I would have took the seven footer on the big break. I would have let the other guy putt. Mm. Um, it's you know, then there's also the comment of. Uh, yeah, but it's not in your hands, blah, blah, blah. Well, the other guy's hands are shaking so much mm-hmm. that there's a better chance of him missing it than making it. <laughs> so yeah. um, I don't know what, what Petey's mindset was going in, you know, why he let Justin putt it and all that stuff. But uh, obviously it was the right one. And, um, I mean, I, I probably would have, to be honest with you, I probably would have done the same thing in Petey's situation. Mm-hmm. Well, Speaking of what you would have done, what did you guys do when you had the day off? We saw you at that hotel, that very posh Renaissance yeah. hotel. Um, did you guys do anything else besides play with we in the lobby? What yeah, did you do that day? We uh, we did a whole, you know we kind of what did we do? We kind of uh, we took it easy in the morning. We watched some TV and then um, we played. We went over to the Renaissance Esmeralda and uh, and played we and kind of checked out the place had some. Uh, like what did they have? They made all these like different drinks for us, and we kind of sat around that little fire and talked a little bit. Mm-hmm. Kind of took it all in because it's—I mean—it's pretty beautiful. Um, mm-hmm. You know, <laughs> who knows if any of us will ever go back to a place like that? You know, it was gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, pretty much, we just kind of hung out. We didn't, you know, uh, the way the next show they feature the next show. There's, you know, PD has to get through the seven of us, and we weren't really, you know, we weren't really aware that we were going to be hitting any golf shots until I think, you know, maybe 45 minutes before that, mm-hmm. um, which kind of puts that, puts seven of us at a mental disadvantage because we were kind of lax for the day. So, mm-hmm. um, we just really just kind of hung out. Um, it, uh, just John got out of the guitar a little bit and, um, just, yeah, played Wii and joked around. It was just kind of like a hanging out with the guys that, mm-hmm. It was good. So they really did do all this in one day. So when Petey showed up at the end of the day, walking up to you guys, that was the same day later in the afternoon. Then is that right? Yeah, yeah. And the next, um, the next little playback challenge is actually still a part of that same day. Um, when he has to kind of go against the seven of us, mm-hmm. uh, that's actually the same day. Uh, okay. So I, I was actually I was interested to see how much they dragged out that playback challenge. I was thinking. I was how they can get this all in, and they, and they didn't, obviously. But um, they, they gave everybody the cliffhanger to get everybody back for next week. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it takes very much to get people to come back to this show. It's a very exciting yeah, I series. Know. Yeah, I, I'm loving it. So is there anything you want to close with, something that you wanted to share today that I didn't ask you? Uh, no, no. I think, you know, I didn't really do or say too much. Um, so I don't really have too much to say about it. It was... It, uh, if PD does come back, it'll definitely make for an interesting little. They'll change the competition for for sure. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Well, thanks, David, again, and I really look forward to talking to you about the outcome of that next week. Yes, for sure, absolutely. Okay, take care. All right, you too. Bye.